Okay, so let's move on to our last slide today, the US pre-market movers and some chart points. Yeah, obviously the euro has been a big mover, that's predictable. But I think, you know, I said this last week, um, the Swiss franc is one to really keep an eye on. Um, the S&B um, were moving in to support the Swiss franc over, overnight. They're pointing I.e. At, buy and sell, yeah, exactly. buying euros to sell Swiss. Exactly, and they're going to keep on doing that, and that Swiss franc is going to come under pressure. They've already seen, they're already up, I can't remember, 13% on the year so far, 11% on the year so far. Um, there's only so much appreciation that Swiss exporters, that the Swiss economy is prepared to swallow before the Swiss National Bank acts. And that is that would be, you know that would drive a lot of volatility if we do see, you know we saw we've already seen once this year just how much pain the SMB can cause when they move because when they move they move hard and so I was you know rather you know, I'm surprised there's anybody left trading that currency yeah, but, pair after but it also drives the rest isn't it you yeah, know that, well, that, it's, it's, it's a big sentiment driver for yep. the euro for everything else and so I think of, of those pairs obviously the, the euro is a they're kind of a you know a, a no-brainer and in, in as far as watching what's going on there. But that Swiss franc is going to be a key, even if you're not trading it, it's going to be a key kind of sentiment indicator as to what's going on in the FX markets today. Understood. OK, Craig Drake, thank you very much indeed for that. That wraps up the Wall Street crossover show. We'll be back same time tomorrow, one o'clock. Um, obviously, take great care out there. Have a good day. Thank you.